Hello, we are doing a quick little video on how to export from Tinkercad into the Glowforge. So you have your design. Your first design should look like this little name tag here. And if we look at it from this side, it's only going to export what's touching this blue surface. So great example here. If it's up in the air like this, floating up there, not going to work, not going to show up because we're taking a slice of it of what's only touching this blue surface. So that one, not going to work. A sphere like this, also not going to work because it's only going to have like a tiny little dot at the very bottom where it's touching that surface. So again, not working. So like we have it there, that will work. Sometimes it does something weird and you, this will also work. If you have to, you're getting some weird results, just slide it down, it's going to slice right through that layer. And as long as you have your holes going all the way through, like we have here, you should be good to go. So we're going to pop up here to export. And we're going to say for laser cutting here, SVG, making sure that we say everything in the design so we get everything. If you want only certain pieces, you can click on those pieces and have those selected and only export those. And so that is downloading um, in your Chromebooks. That will be um, in your Google Drive. So once we're over here, you are going to come over here to upload. It's as easy as clicking that and then going and finding your file. This will look a little bit different because you are on a Chromebook most of the time. Um, so go find your file. That should be taking a second to process. And here we are. So we got it. And usually this will show up and your piece of wood will be shown in there and you can line it up exactly where it belongs. Um, over here, the, one of the things we have to do is enter our settings. So most of the time we're going to be using this thin plywood, which is 3 16 So we have three different options up here. We have cut. So if you actually want to cut out a shape like we see here, you're going to want to make sure it says cut. And we're doing that right material, which is and all the, the settings for this should be preset for that. And sometimes you might want to score something, which is where the laser goes along and does something like this. If you can see that, it just kind of draws the lines and the settings are there for that. And finally, we have engrave. Engrave we are almost never going to use because it takes a really long time. This one was engraved and you can see kind of shaded in the whole area. And it takes a long time for the laser to go back and forth and shade it in just like if you were doing it with a pencil. It takes a long time. So most of the time we're going to do cut and thickness of the wood is 3 16 It's important to know that because we're going to have to come up here, never click any of these because these are all these fancy materials we don't use. And we're going to say uncertified material. And how thick is it? 3 16 It says it right over there in our cut settings. We push select or enter there. And look at that, it says ready. That means we're ready to go. Once you have placed this in the right spot, you push print, you go over there and push the button on the machine that should start to flash in just a moment. And you're off to the races, you're having fun, you're laser cutting. Stay by that machine the whole time you're using it, just in case something weird happens and you have a little fire, you just crack the little bit or turn off the machine instantly. You know, as soon as that happens, like if you see flames, turn it off. Um, all right. Enjoy. Bye.